Finally on 7 tonight, uh, the push to find a cure for HIV takes another step forward with a Rockville company. A D.C. doctor infused the first patient with American Gene Technologies cell and gene product. We first broke this story at 6 o'clock and new tonight, Justin Hinton is speaking with that doctor behind the treatment. Swirling around the Washington Health Institute is cautious optimism where one week ago, Dr. Jose Bordone infused the first patient with American Gene Technologies cell and gene product with the hope it will cure HIV. No side effects, no complications, and even more, the patient was smiling and happy. He took 7 News on your side to the room where the unidentified male patient took part in phase one of this clinical trial. Months ago, a blood draw removed infected white T cells from the patient's body. They were modified in the lab by adding an element that blocks HIV. The patient's new and improved white T cells were then transported to this room and placed in this machine, warming them up before going back in his body to begin the work to clear HIV. The infusion itself takes about 20 minutes, though it's a much longer day for the patient because of other prep work. The overall time is about four hours. Most of that sitting, watching, making sure that the patient is okay. That's very true. So day seven, still with no issues. This is a beginning, the beginning of a very long journey. The beginning is with one step and this step was forward. Rockville based American Gene Technologies has been developing this program for more than a decade. Seven News on Your Side was there in August when the company received FDA approval to conduct this trial. Nine months later, CEO Jeff Galvin saying this phase not only gives safety data, it gives much more. But it can get you efficacy signal as well. Even if this first attempt doesn't get a cure, we can go back and re-engineer that. And we know uh, that the basic process is safe, so we can kind of debug the software in those cells and try again. A major milestone in pushing the needle on creating a cure that for 40 years has eluded scientists. In Northeast Washington, Justin Hinton, 7 News. Now, there are six patients total in phase one ready to go, but they have to wait until this first patient receives the all clear from the Data Safety and Monitoring Board, and that could happen around July. You can watch the full interview with the CEO of the company on our website right now. He discusses how exactly the technology works, the potential cost to the patient, and so much more. It's there for you right now on WJLA.com's front page. You can also search HIV Cure on our site to find it. John